after you do the top stitching on the bottom front side of your zipper, you're going to be attaching your zipper to the top front piece. Okay? So you are going to do the exact same steps as you just did for the bottom, except now you're going to have another piece attached to the other side of the zipper. Okay? So it says to lay the top front piece on the table with the right side up, or the side you want on the outside of your bag. So if you have a, a side that you want to be on the inside of your bag, that should be facing the table. Okay? Then it says you're going to place the zipper upside down with the zipper tape even with the top edge of your fabric and the zipper pull will be on the left this time. Okay, so my zipper is going to be upside down okay, and you'll notice you'll see the wrong side of your fabric now. And you're going to slide it all the way up to the top edge and you're going to have it centered. Now you're going to put your four pins exactly the same way as you did before, except you just have this extra piece of fabric here now. Okay, so now I'm going to put in my pin, except now that I have my zipper pull on this side, I'm going to start with it open. Okay, so opposite of what we did before. Okay, now instead of putting through both ends, when I'm starting here, I'm going to start by just putting it through the top part at the beginning. Okay. Now I'm going to put my other pins in. Okay, this time it's going to go down through the top and then back up through the bottom. Okay, and then I'll move a couple inches over. The pin will go down and then back up again. And then over at the end, the pin will go down and back up again. If you feel like there's a big gap in between pins and you want to put a fifth pin in, you can. It is up to you.